that's ran over here to the spark cell. We got that white lead that goes across here, but first it goes to the capacitor. And off the green, I got an amp meter going between them. So it tells the amps that's going to the spark cell from that green. So right now, this is picking up a pulse off the trigger, these two leads right here. And I'm sending it to here. That's a 20 gauge wire and a coil. And here's three other coils that's wrapped in this coil. They're all put together with a bridge rectifier. And I've got a meter right here that's going to tell how many volts that this coal is picking up. Also, I got leads right here and an amp meter that are between them. They're right here that's going to show you what this is picking up. Okay, I'm going to cut it on. As you can see, it's pulling 0.34 amps. A little bit of production. That's uh, distilled water with a little bit of baking soda in it. But I'm picking up 139 volts. Okay, now I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to cut it back on. Just to show y'all that I do got 136 volts. And the battery's probably at 18 volts. It's just charged. 0.50 amps. 133 volts. Okay, I'm going to pick, hook up this cell to it. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. All right, we're pulling point one one and three point four volts. My amperage went up a little bit. I'm gonna disconnect it. All right, so it probably went up. Uh, A you know, milliamp or something like that. What I'm trying to figure out is if you did the math. You know, 3.3 .3 times 0.12 equals. And then 18 volts times, you know, figure out what's what. But anyway, there's a little bit of production coming off of it. Not much, but I mean, this is distilled water with no electrolyte. Uh, my spark cell is starting to pick up a little bit more. Uh, let me try to push some electrolyte in here to see if I can raise these amps up off of this. Alright, I'm still at 3.3.12 on the amps. Pretty good amount of production for that little bitty cell. 0.018 amps at 3.0. My spark cell is at one point or one amp. Let's 